Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your agenda free news. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So, we've seen a lot of bad Disney news um, lately. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, Deadline's reporting that Disney begins its third round of planned layoffs. Okay, so remember, they said they were going to lay off about 7,000 different employees a couple of weeks, of, a while back, like a few weeks ago recently, we've seen like second round of layoffs, and this may be the final round of layoffs, okay? So this is the third round of the layoffs for the 7,000 different employees at um, Disney, as well as Walt Disney World. So it says here it's estimated to affect around 700 employees. This one right here across the board at the company, we're told and said according to deadline. While parks and resorts remain un mainly untouched, the pink slipping this week isn't aimed at any particular division. Now, it could be also television, which was hit hard in the second round and it's largely spared this time with the small number of layoffs we hear. So it says here, the following timeline of cuts on Disney's CEO Bob Iger confirmed in late March. This is expected to be the last of the significant layoffs at Disney for a while. Hence, for a while, because of the fact that there's like a number of different projects that's about to come out that are predicted that aren't going to be, be doing so well. And this is including Disney Plus, you know, movies, Disney Plus shows, um, theme parks, so on and so forth, all right? So following the timeline of cuts, Disney CEO Bob, excuse me, I already read the part. The initial wave of layoffs began on March 27th when Iger confirmed the plan for three rounds of layoffs as the company looks to reduce its workforce by about 7,000 employees. We already know that. The second largest wave took place about on August 24th, um, eliminated 4,000 positions. Okay, so the company had said it's expected expect to be a third round, which is now before the start of the summer. The new wave of layoffs comes as media companies are facing effects from ongoing rider strikes. Could this be the fact that they might have predicted the uh, rider strikes and they might have known about it? Or are they using the rider strike as an excuse to go ahead and lay off some workers? You know, but I digress. Okay. So this is the strike itself is bringing on uh, film and TV development and production to a halt. Disney revealed last th February that it expects to realize that $5.5 billion in cost savings as a result of the layoffs and other austerity measures. This is where the cuts of not only Disney plus comes content comes in, but also ESPN and parks experiences and products and other two corporate divisions. We'll see staff cuts along with entertainment. Okay, so no frontline operational workers at the company's theme parks are expected to lose their jobs. Okay, so we have here like a company that everybody thought was not going to struggle, actually struggling right now. You know, because of the fact that a lot of they, they lost a lot of its core audiences. You know, people like yeah. The, you've already had people of different races watching Disney, yet you want to go ahead and continue with the particular investment model that went over more on customers, even though you don't even believe in this kind of stuff. All right. But as far as I know, Lucasfilm is probably spared because of the fact that we all know, like, like with the whole thing happening with Chris, um, not Chris. Kathleen Kennedy, as well as the whole Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny debacle with at the cons music on I mean, movie festival. Okay, so I'm just guessing that Bob Iger either might make his move after the Indiana Jones five movie is in theaters, or she may be forced to resign or retire. You know, but I don't know. You know, I'm just not sure. I'm just speculating for now. All right. But um, there's different, you know, rumors from the company itself, from leakers and everything, stating that Bob Iger is still, she, that she, like the company is still in Bob Iger's crosshairs, you know, Lucasfilm, okay? Based on, basically, based on Kathleen Kennedy's embarrassing week last week, all right? But with the stuff attack on Kennedy during the Cannes Film Festival uh, with the closing of Galactic Starship um, Hotel attraction, Star Cruise Hotel, excuse me, and removing Willow from Disney Plus, okay? Without even telling her, by the way, which is crazy, all right? So Iger, he's likely going to, 
hit Lucasfilm as well as Kathleen Kennedy when they least expect it. All right. But there's still, like the article stated, more firings to come. Okay. So this may be like the slow death of woke within Disney, at least, if not the rest of Hollywood. Okay. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong. Also, be sure to comment any additional thoughts you may have. All right. Because right now, it's not looking really good for Disney. Because I'm wondering myself, is the boy going to be um, cutting Bob Iger sooner than they expected? Because they did that with Bob Chapek already while he was at a concert. You know, don't forget about that. And then they also have more content out there that put out there more superhero-based movies and more MCU movies that are not doing so well right now with the exception of, no, wait, not the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Guardians of, Ga Guardians of the Gal Galaxy Volume 3 may be doing better than the recent um, MCU movies, but it's not doing as better as its predecessors, Guardians of the Galaxy Volumes 1 and 2, okay? But... I digress, you know, what's this going to also mean for those who are on the board and everything? Do, are they going to continue to lose more money or do you th do you think that Black Fox is actually going to, actually going to start distancing itself from woke um, content, you know? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to comment any additional thoughts from the topic that was discussed in this video that was not brought up also if you enjoy what i shared in the video go ahead and smash the like button and also share far wide across social media and if you also enjoyed all the content i put out there go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates until then peace